How to play Marco Polo. Never run along the side of a pool. Children should always swim with adult supervision. It's the coolest pool party game ever named after a 13th century explorer. Marco Polo is a perfect way to cool down and have fun. You will need friends and a pool. Step one, Marco Polo works best if you've got a ton of friends with you. Pick a sunny day, organize a trip to a local pool or a backyard oasis, and dive on in. Step two, pick someone to be it or Marco and have them swim to the opposite end of the pool. As is tradition, feel free to taunt this person mercilessly. Step three, Marco has to close their eyes and keep them closed throughout the game. Marco then counts to 10, which is everyone's first chance to scatter around the pool. Be creative with your hiding place and always keep moving. But whatever you do, don't get out of the water. Step four, when the Marco is done counting to 10, they'll shout, Marco. Everyone then has to shout the response call, Polo. This shouting process is like sonar, and Marco can shout out as much as he or she wants. Everyone has to respond. If you don't shout Polo, Marco can call you out on it. If Marco's right, and you didn't respond, you automatically become the next Marco. Step five. Now it's Marco's job to swim around the pool trying to tag a victim. Just like tag, if Marco touches you, you're the new Marco. Step six. In one version of the game, only Marco has to remain fully in the pool at all times. Everyone else can slip in and out as they want, but if Marco shouts, fish out of water, while someone is out of the pool, they become the new Marco. If there is more than one person caught, Marco chooses the loser. Did you know? Marco Polo's account of his travels in China introduced the concept of paper money to the West. 